Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Steam Shuffle. Yes, I know it's been a while since the last time I did one, but I'm back to doing more of them. And today we are going to be looking at Daylight. Daylight is a survival horror game. It is released on April 29th, so just about a week of this video coming up, about a week ago. And it was developed by Zombie Studios. These are the guys who brought you Blacklight Retribution and a few Spec Op games. They also actually designed a few training simulators. They were commissioned by the uh, United States military to develop training uh, simulators for them. Um, video game S, more, sim more realistic video games, if you will, I'm assuming. I thought that was pretty interesting myself. I actually wouldn't mind getting my hands on some of those. Some of the ones they actually used. And this is the first game that actually uses the Unreal Engine 4. So, it should be fairly pretty. Well, it, it doesn't look bad. I, I played about 30 minutes of this. Um, that's about as far as I got. I kind of got freaked out. I was, uh, I kind of was running on lack of sleep and it was three o'clock in the morning with my headphones blaring and all that good stuff so we're gonna give it another run here and I'll see if it scares me again the uh, interesting thing about this title is it's actually a procedurally generated horror game which means it's gonna be different every time you play it the actual corridors the mazes that you go through so you can't really predict when the scares are gonna come which I think is a very good breath of fresh air into the survival horror genre granted I'm not personally that up to speed with the this particular genre I played amnesia a little bit I played some slender a little bit it's just not really my thing if I don't have a gun I don't really like it because I like to shoot at whatever's chasing me so let's go ahead and look at the settings menu here the controls are not rebindable but there's like six buttons so it's really not that big of a deal I mean you move with WASD as normal and you've got like 1 and 2 and E. That, that's it. That's really it. The settings, however, are quite impressive. You've got, of course, the separate volume options for dialogue, sound effects, and the music. Sensitivity options for your mouse. I have not actually changed it at all. I don't have a problem with it. It's not like you're aiming down sights or anything like that in this game. And then we go into the graphics options. A whole plethora of options available to us here. AA, your shadow quality, the lighting. I have everything set up on high at the moment. Uh, the uh, NVIDIA GameWorks settings. Not exactly sure what these are. I uh, haven't messed with them. I figure I'll just leave them alone because it looks pretty as it is. So we're just going to go with it the way it is here. But again, if you want to play with some options here, you have them. Which is good. I would assume the Unreal Engine would have options available to it. At least I would hope. So let's take a look at the first Unreal Engine 4 game. That is Daylight. I'm going to go ahead and start off on a new story here to, for us. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers as much as possible. Most of the backstory is written text, so I'm just going to kind of skip over that quickly. Um, the dialogue, however, I don't believe you can skip. So we're just going to deal with that. Come on, daylight load. Boy, this is a... I do not remember it taking this long to load. Last time I played this. Nowhere close to this. Hmm. Well then. Something is obviously not going right here. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened there. Um, I stopped my capturing and it immediately loaded. That may have had something to do with it. There was a warning message when I started it that uh, Fraps has a problem with this particular game, apparently, capturing it. Uh, it has a tendency to crash, and I probably should have heeded that warning, so we'll go from here. Alright, so you see that we have a little cell phone here, basically. That's our only source of light at the moment. You do get glow sticks as well as flares. Glow sticks are used to discover clues on the walls, more or less. Uh, it'll light up with uh, glyphs. 
It's uh, to show you that you can. It's clickable, and the flares are used on the bad guys to make sure they can't get you. That's really the only point of them. All right, so we're gonna pop a flare here. Oh. All right, we got a glitch in the door there. Apparently, that's nice. Looks like we got a loading screen waiting for us here. It's most like this is very strange. I don't see why why we're having these uh loading the screens. Will burn into your this has not happened to when I played it earlier. Well, this is fun. Okay, again, sorry for the cut there. Uh, it took a good five minutes to load that again for some reason, which that is just that's unacceptable. I'm I'm guessing that that is due to uh, recording fraps. But as you can see, we run through here and find some notes, which are, are called remnants as well. The object of the series here is to find all six remnants, and then you will find a key room in which you find a random object that you can use to progress to the next stage, more or less. We've got some flickering lights going on there. really don't like turning around too much. I'm not going to lie, I played this game and it kind of kind of freaked me out a little bit. Got the noises and as you can hear in the background. I've got the sound turning a little bit so you can't quite hear them. And just... Oh my god, what was that? What was what? Oh, I don't know what she's actually talking about there. Okay, there's a ghost right in front of us. I really don't want to go that way. Ooh, that gave me some chills. I don't know what it is about this game, but while playing it, it just it just kind of creeps me out. And I, I, I really... I don't really like this type of horror game. I'm not going to lie to you. Kind of scares the Anybody Jesus out of me. There? Makes me feel like I don't want to turn around. Kind of heart racing a little bit here. I just I do not like horror games that I do not have a gun to shoot back. It is not my thing. We're gonna try to get through this here. Really nice dark corridors, not really cool, not cool at all. Yeah, this is it, pretty much it though. Um, the game is scary, I will give it that. But, other than the scary parts, I mean, actual gameplay wise, it's not really that fun. I mean, if I had to call it anything, I'd almost call it a tech demo for the Unreal 4 engine, just to show off the graphic abilities of it, the game. Don't turn around. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God, I hate turning around in these games. I'm just waiting for things to be hunting behind me. I mean, the lighting effects are impressive. I don't have flares to really show that right now, but the flare effects are really nice. The fact that it's procedurally generated, yeah, that's... It makes it spookier. In flame, Sarah. Use it to your okay, I gotta clear those just in case I can pop that thing out. But, again, it's just... The gameplay itself, it just gets... I mean, all you're doing is trying to find these remnants. I'm gonna pop a flare. Oh, uh, see, the fire on the flare there is actually... Fairly nice. And then you find the key to the door, and then that's it. And you go on to the next level. And hopefully you don't get creeped out and spooked and jumped in the process. With the creepy noise over behind I know there's them. somebody here. And the fire alarm going off. I don't like that. There's a lot of banging. Okay. You know what? I just... Uh, not gonna lie to you guys, this is I with it's it's pretty creepy. If you're really looking just to get yourself scared and have that feeling of something's following you consistently and you're trying to get out of it, I mean, I actually watched a friend of mine playing it as well and he he actually likes the scary games way more than I do. And uh 
it got him pretty good too. I mean, when you're looking, f you there's a level that's actually a penitentiary, and you go in there and it's the got the jail cell bars going on in there, and he turned around and the one that's really trying to come after you is right in his face, and we all screamed. I mean, it is a scary title, but that's all it's for. It's not you're running a it's a maze simulator. And it does have an, the objective, which is to find the amount of remnants and find the key and make it to the door to progress while not getting the pants scared off you in the process. But that's it. Like, I guess there's a, there's a the story line behind it. I mean, it's it's weak at best. Um, it has to do with your in a mental institution and all that good stuff. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but within the first five minutes, I, I am assuming, I actually haven't even played far enough to find out for sure, but I'm assuming that you are like, because the, the notes mention quite a bit about a girl who was, uh, had special abilities or they had to restrain her, was talking about nightmares and everything. I'm assuming you are that girl type of deal going on there, but I couldn't tell you for certain. So there you have it guys, taking a look at Daylight, I would show you more, um, the only really thing you haven't seen is the actual monster coming out and scaring you, which kind of takes away the fun for a lot of people, but I'm not going to sit here and freak myself out yet again playing this game, it just, I, I have a thing about ghosts and stuff, I did this, I got halfway through Amnesia before I was like, nope, I'm done, I don't want to walk any further, I don't want to hide in these boxes anymore. And you can call me a wimp if you want. It just, uh, they give me the creeps. And this one has sufficiently gave me the creeps. This is the third time playing through it. And it's still sending chills throughout my whole body. And all I only saw one ghost. And had that, I just didn't want to turn around because I was afraid. It's, it's a jump scare that you know is going to happen. It's, but it also has sufficient creepy vibes behind it as well. It's, uh, I believe it's fifteen dollars right now on Steam. You can get it on there. Uh, there's also available for PS4. I don't own a PS4, so I can't do a review of that game. But I'm assuming it's the same. I don't see why it would be any different. But go ahead and give it a run. I mean, if this your cup of tea is the scary games, then you might get quite a few little screams of terror out of you while playing this one. So I thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Asher with the Steam Shuffle, and I will see you guys next time.